Hi, Martin here. Today, I'm going to show you how to change out your fuel filter on your 99 through 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And this won't matter if it's a 4.0 or a 4.7 liter engine. Uh, the fuel filter is the same. There is a different part number for the 99 through, I believe it's 02, and then the 03, 04 have a, another part number. And I'll show you in very great detail exactly how to get these connections off. They do vary on this particular line. Um, one's a little easier than the other. And uh, fuel filter is located up underneath here, just in front of the gas tank, uh, above the rear end. All right, let's get started. Okay, here on the uh, 4.7, on the uh, right side, you can see the fuel rail right here. And this is uh, the Schrader, the cap. Right, there's your Schrader valve. I'm going to grab a small screwdriver and we're going to release that pressure there. Okay, I placed a rag in here as well just to soak up any fuel. You can see the fuel is coming out. And there. You know, that was maybe a few tablespoons okay now just replace the cap and now I'll show you on a 4.0 okay this is my 98 XJ um, I just wanted to show you on a six cylinder I mean, here's a fuel rail. Yours will be black. Mine's all covered up in this thermal wrap. There's your cap right there. Move the cap. Yeah, throw down a rag just to catch the excess. And it'd be the same thing. There, see? It just dripped out a little bit of fuel. This one's been sitting here over uh, about a day now. If you just parked it, you are definitely going to get some fuel out of there. If you do need to raise your vehicle to get underneath there, like I do on mine, uh, chalk the tire, you know, use a hydraulic jack to get it up there, and then put a jack stand in here. And also set the parking brake. Okay, up here under the vehicle, rear axle, and right, got your spring here, the one side, and right, there's your filter. You got the three lines. Now, if, I mean you're looking at this, it's very clean under here. If you've been out four wheeling and got a bunch of mud and stuff underneath there you're definitely going to want to wash that out there with a, a hose or use some high pressure air and clean around these fittings on both you know on all three of those now this is the easier one to un disconnect and I'm going to show you that what the hard ones like in a minute this particular line is the one that would be the hard one um, it is not on this one because you see this little black black collar right there all you gotta do is literally push this in and also apply pressure going this way and this will pull right this will pull right off on the other ones you need a special tool which I will show you to get those off and they can put up quite a fight alright we're gonna start with uh, this line here now, there's two little pinch points on here on either end of the line. Now you can also use like a pair of needle nose like I'm doing right here. I'm pinching that. Now be ready for some fuel because it even though we release the pressure, there's still fuel in this line and it's definitely gonna come out. Okay.
Okay, that's one from the gas tank. I'm actually surprised we're not getting a lot more fuel. Okay, this line here is the one that goes up to your engine. I'm gonna squeeze those two points there. Okay, you might be able to do this with your fingers, but I find it easier with a pair of needle nose, like right there. You see your pinching? Those two pieces right there. Now I can't do this and record. So you do that, and then grab a hold of the black fuel line, and you're going to pull that away from the filter. Now what I'm going to try to do, this one here can be very difficult to get off. Even with this, this is the easier connection. What I'm going to try to do here is take these two bolts out, very carefully bring the filter down to me where I can get to it a little better, and then disconnect this right here. With those two bolts removed, you can get to this much better. Now we just need to push that in. There. You see it's all the way in. We go something I want to show you okay this is the inlet side of the filter here and I just want to look at how bad that looks and it was not having any problems at all that is coming out pretty crappy looking So why wait till you have problems? Man, that is nasty. And what I wanted to show you is I got little pieces of fuel line right here. Um, and how to, so you can clearly see how this hooks up. And So when you're going to reinstall that filter, you got this clip on there on your new filter. I'm going to push that on there. And you hear these little clicks. And you see that, see how that is snapped in there, on both sides. That's it right there. Now to uninstall it, you, you know, you pinch it with these needle nose, both sides. That helps quite a bit. Uh, Help release these tabs. There. Once you got it going, you can you can let go of the needle nose and just pull. Boom. Okay. Now here's the other side. Now this is going to still have the old clip on it. Oh, you could reuse the old clip. If it's okay, I mean, but your new filter will come with one. There it is, and you heard it lock in. That's it. This one's a lot easier to get off. You just pinch those two, and it pulls right off. Now, this is the one I had on here. You can see here it's got this you push it in like that to release. This one requires a special tool. It looks just like this. Now, on mine, and hopefully yours, push that in, it locks in, that pops out, you pull, it's not going anywhere, right? Okay, to release it, you need that to go in. And this is where it might help. There. You see how that went in there? And 
there it came off. All right, now I'm going to show you with this style. When you push that in there, there. I don't know if you heard that click, that is on there then. Okay, this is a set of these. They're made for fuel lines, and you can use them for air condition lines to release fuel lines. And um, you find them on oil lines as well, like oil coolers and stuff, transmission lines. Okay, so we got the one. It's a 5 16 size. And you're going to place it on here. And you're going to slide it into that. Just like that. Okay. Now, like I said, this is the one I think is kind of hard. should be it. Yep, there it goes. And that's how you release that one. Now the old fuel line down there, which looks like this, I mean, it, it has that clip still on there. The new filter comes with the clip on both sides. Um, so being that this is the one that goes into the filter, you may want to remove that one, or I guess you could choose to remove this one and uh, reinstall this in there, and then you'd be done, providing that this clip is still good. They do break sometimes. Now to get that old clip off of there, get yourself a pick or a small screwdriver, Right there. I can slide it off. I tell you, if these things are still good, these are good things to keep around. Put that line in. So. And then pull back to make sure it doesn't come out. Take that cap off. Push this line on. There, got a good click. Check to make sure that doesn't come off. Pull that cap off. Okay, and then we got our line going to our engine. Line that up and boom and then check pull that off all right now return the two bolts snug them up and then we're going to fire it up and check for leaks okay when you first go to start it turn the ignition switch to the on position your pump's going to run for a few seconds and shut off turn it back off do it again this is uh, filling the fuel line up. Do it one more time. And then start it up. All right, let's check for leaks. I just wanted to show you this. I went ahead, out of curiosity's sake, cut the filter apart. Um, Someone to just see what the filter looked like inside. Okay, now this is the line going to the engine. Here's your filter. I mean, it looks, you know, bad. Okay, or it looks. Now, I was surprised to find out when I pried this out of here. Okay, I'm like, what else has we got in here? Okay, there's that piece. It goes there, and voila, look at that. 
That looks like a fuel pressure regulator to me. Now, if you're having hard starts when it's cold, but then eventually it does, like you're cranking a while and then it eventually fires up, it could be because of this, because this is also your anti-flowback valve. I was wondering why this filter costs $30. I'm surprised it doesn't cost more. But, uh, yeah, there's a fuel pressure regulator right there. So, that goes in there like that. That tells you that this is your inlet. This is your return line back to the fuel tank. Just wanted to show you that. All right, well, there it is. I uh, hopefully that helped you out. And uh, not too bad of a job, just getting the lines disconnected. Um, definitely a good preventive maintenance thing to do. Um, well, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Talk to you later.